Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome dear viewers. Zainab's Miracles Post-Mortem Lady Zainab is even recognized for producing miracles after her death for the numerous people that go to visit her. This phenomenon is so widespread that even one non-Muslim anthropologist has written an article on the phenomenon of miraculous healings caused by the great mother of Masaib. Zainab is represented by responding to invocations in a miraculous way such as healing the sick and the crippled. Sources have detailed many such miracles. A recent miracle that took place in the late 60s and that was reported in the Lebanese newspapers. An old lady called Hajra Fawzia was so sick that she could not stand, walk or even see. At the beginning of Muharram, people were organizing themselves in groups to visit the holy shrine of Lady Zainab. Hajra Fawzia wanted to go with them. She told her brother Subhi that she could hire two women to carry her and help her. But he refused the idea saying that the blessed lady could hear you and help her wherever she was. Hajra Fawziya spent the night crying and listening to the story of the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Then she prayed to Allah the Almighty, invoking the prestigious position of Zainab to heal her. At dawn, she was getting ready to pray when she felt a woman taking her hand and telling her, stand up on your feet. I am Zainab bint Ali bin Abi Talib. Your brother has told you that Zainab can heal you if she so wishes while you are in your house. I do not heal anybody unless Allah, the most exalted, wants him to be cured. Allah's hand is above mine. Hajra Fawziya replied in astonishment, but I can't stand. But Lady Zainab, peace be upon her, insisted saying, get up. The Hajra stood up crying, Allah is great. She was completely healed and the story is well known in Lebanon. There are also some other famous miracles there are also some other famous miracles as that of the healing of the only child of the Pakistani merchant, Muhammad Ali Habib. The son had polio and all the efforts of the medical doctors were useless. The father, upon a visit to the holy shrine, prayed to Allah to cure his child. At the same night, as some sources say, the child who was asleep in his room in Pakistan woke up and found able to walk. Following this incident, the Pakistani merchant donated the silver cage that still protects the grave. In an article entitled Contesting Fragile Saintly Traditions, Miraculous Healings Amongst Twelver Shias in Contemporary Syria, the anthropologist Edith Zantu documents from several people she had personally interviewed herself who mentioned their miraculous healings from Lady Zainab, peace be upon her. She documents the story of a young Syrian convert to Shiasm named Samir al Husseini, who had earned his PhD in France in comparative religion. This young man had been rendered mute and had lost the ability to utter any sounds from his vocal cords. Upon returning to Syria from traveling to Iran, where he was afflicted with such a disorder, he found that his life was gradually being ruined by it. 
Whilst in Iran, he had gone to visit the most professional and highly skilled doctors who were unfortunately unable to do anything for him and had told him he would never speak. He was told the same thing after visiting Syria's doctors who were of course much less qualified and skilled as the original Iranian doctors he had initially, initially gone to see. After some time, Samir decided to visit the shrine of Sayyida Zainab, peace be upon her, and finally arrived there and decided to pray whilst holding onto the grill which surrounds her graves. Uttering in his heart, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad, and refusing to let go, after some time, he found that he could physically hear his uttering and was able to speak. Upon returning to Iran for Ziyara, he visited Iranian doctors who were shocked that doctors in Syria, who were much less skilled than they were, could be able to fix this problem, which seemed unrepairable. They asked him for the name of the doctor and he responded, it was a doctora namely female doctor. They were surprised and naturally the medical industry is much more populated by male specialists than females, especially in the Arab world. And they asked for her name, to which he informed them that it was Lady Zainab, peace be upon her. <laughs>